have a plan, Arthur. I just need a Desert Eagle Chamber and 50 Action Express. <laughs> Shut up, Darkness. If Badger doesn't get a melee kill, I will literally spawn Camp Poland. <laughs> bro, he's banana, bro. He's banana. Valorant, a game that is 80% Counter-Strike, 20% League, and 100% more fun when you spawn rush. Rush me, don't stop. Let's do it, all right! All right! First off, this is not a review or a comprehensive guide, so watching this video expecting either of those things is gonna make it sound like, hmm, yes, the floor here is made out of floor. And even though I called it a sweat swamp, hyper trash, garbage parade in a jokey tweet, I'm not here to piss all over it, because apart from some casual cyberbullying, I usually prefer channeling my energy in a positive way. Hourglass, your nuts broken on my bowling team. So to offer you some background perspective in this loosey goosey monologue shit post, I am hyper casual FPS water trash that prioritizes fun and silliness over everything. I'll hit him eventually. Hell yeah! Cash money. I've got a grand total of 69 hours and a whopping one video on Counter-Strike. Haven't touched it since September 2016. Why are you acting like I play CSGO? <laughs> Bro, you made a CS video like four years ago. Shut the fuck yeah, up with that. Four <laughs> years ago. Receipt. Shut the fuck up with Receipt. that dumb shit. Receipts. 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 <laughs> League of Legends, I've got a couple hundred hours in, primarily back in 2013, where I made Trindamir Graves and a wizard lizard named Renekton. So I'm no Dyrus, but I know a dipshit six boots buying money Mundo when I see one. Welcome to Mundo's shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh Huge Battlefield fan, and my most played recent game is Rainbow Six. So I'm used to casual babby aiming systems, and my only strength is decent reflexes, which, when paired with my sloppy aim, is barely even a strength. You're out of touch. I'm out of time! My god, that scared me. And to repeat, I prioritize fun over everything, which is why I usually have a gaggle of my buddies gassing my shit up on Discord or screaming at something in the distance, like cheering on healthcare workers in New York City? Par for the course. Everybody in New York is about to start cheering in three minutes. Oh yeah, for the hospital workers, yeah, I right? just slammed my skateboard into the side of my building. I want to hear your skateboard break, Bing. You're not cheering, you're not cheering for the doctors hard wow. enough. So it should be no surprise that my callouts are ass and are basically banned in my chat. Anybody makes a single callout, I swear to God. Bro, he's banana, bro. He's oh banana, bro. God, bro. God, I'm God, bananas. No, he's Luka, he's I'm Luka, fucking bro. bananas, chat. Oh, God. I've never had anybody come from the right side. What the fuck? Are you <laughs> making callouts? <laughs> You've become the very thing you swore to destroy. <laughs> Do you guys say B-Long or Blong? Or C-Long or Clong? We should I'm go gonna start Klong. saying Clong. Alright, Clong it is. And finally, I felt inclined to make this video because so few people have access to the closed beta right now. I luckily got access from an insider business buddy, shout out to Shibby, but if you're not a young clout god streamer e-girl, the only way to get access is via drops on Twitch, where viewing certain streamers will randomly reward certain viewers with a beta key. I have Watch six Pokemon. different e-girl streams open right now, <laughs> so if this doesn't work, I have. I'm gonna be mad. This limited access to the game gave me even more motivation to make this video to offer a no-brain, dipshit, monkey man perspective among a sea of sweat swamp tryhard streamers. I'm gonna press X and then just go. Oh god, oh god, people, shit, shit. Now with all that casual background in mind to compare how similar you are to me, if somebody put an FN57 with a 20 round magazine to my dome and said, describe their element in fire the words were hilarious. Counter-Strike League of Legends. It is straight up 80% Counter-Strike, and I say that in a cold, neutral way. No matter if you love Valorant or hate Valorant, trying to argue that the game isn't Counter-Strike at its core is indefensible. This dude's about to Counter-Strike some League players, I can feel it. You're an actual oh, god. Okay, you are a no, god among men. When I say AK, you say Vandal. AK, Vandal. AK, Vandal. I'm just repeating it to myself because I'm a huge fucking loser. Virtually every weapon in the Valorant lineup is cloned from Counter-Strike. Classic is P2K, Frenzy is CZ75, Ghost is USP, Sheriff is Deagle, Phantom is M4, Marshall is Scout, and on and on and on. They even called their dominant sniper rifle the Operator, so you can still call it an op. Let me use the op, Kia. I'm about to show you what the fuck is good. I've had enough. Oh! Oh, I'm nuts! Oh, I got one right here. Watch this spray. 
Oh, god damn it, you got an off. <laughs> oh. Oh, then. My one counter. This isn't an indictment of Valorant being unoriginal and cloning the weapons from Counter-Strike, because to me, original does not equal good. Look at Lawbreakers and Anthem, and unoriginal does not equal bad. Warzone has very little originality, but it's a fucking blast. I'm simply letting you know what kind of arsenal to expect, and I'm glad to say there's something for everyone, whether you're a diehard AR fan or a laser-accurate LMG user. Actually, my favorite. Okay, she... Uh, my recoil pattern's got her! Skill, skill. Once you buy yourself a gun, you've either got to plant the spike at one of two bomb sites as an attacker or prevent such explosions as a defender. Just like terrorists and counter terrorists, plenty of shit is gonna get blown to bits. Counter terrorists win. Planting the spike. Hell yeah. Is this gonna explode? Yes, y'all. Like, kill me explode? Yes, You're dead, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Good thing I have kid. Are you okay. Or I don't have kid. Kid doesn't exist. Fuck, don't. Please. And in my first few rounds, holy shit, did it ever feel like Counter-Strike. From running through smoke being a bad idea? I'm running right through this fucking smoke. I ain't scared, bro. I ain't fucking scared. Oh my god! Wait! Ow! Oh, that guy was Mama. ready for me. I had no Just idea maybe. that there was a freight train on the other side of that smoke orb. That's so good, chat. I ain't scared. Well, yes, but you are fucking dead. <laughs> I'm going! No, you oh my god! Okay, I get it now, Chad. You shouldn't enter smoke because you get murked on the other side. My inner monologue was saying, this time is different. And then my inner monologue ended. To the crippling movement penalty that makes it impossible to escape while being shot? <laughs> oh god, that's a long distance. Fuck. Fuck. You can't run away, chat. If he starts hitting you, then it does damage, and then your kneecaps just suddenly stop working, and you, like, start crap crawling away. <laughs> yeah, turns out it's hard to run without kneecaps. All the way to the base boosted footsteps while running, and whisper quiet footsteps while walking. Very, very CS. I agree, exactly. Bing. Seems like everyone's walking in Minecraft sand. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try to tell me that you don't love when regular memes become Minecraft memes when people make eating sounds. Those are hilarious. Yes. I love those. I'm a stick completely silent, boy. <laughs> completely silent. Shift won't be like. No, I use alt. I Is use the alt. Walk key on you shift? God, you see, I'm doing, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. I'm sounding like. Hmm. Yes, the floor here is made out of floor. I'll stop. I promise. The point is, game is very CSGO-y, and if you suck at recoil patterns and movement inaccuracy in that game, this game will be just as awkward. Oh, that flank. Oh, God. Uh, wait. Did he freeze? Enemy remaining. I can't even tell who the bigger dipshit is. What sets Valorant apart is the 20% derived from League of Legends with unique agents packing three special abilities you can buy and an ultimate. Rocket launcher and a competitive tactical shooter sawed my ass up, brother. All right, let's go. That's Shoot you, life. motherfucker. Yes! Oh my god. Raised players be like, damn. Raised players be like, nice them. tactical shooter. Here's an AT. Oh my god, another raise. God damn it. Damn, that raise actually just said you get what you fucking deserve. But not every agent is a a spastic shitfuck designed to cheese. I play Jet, the white-haired Asian lady that can smoke, dash, super jump, and stab you several times. I can tell shit. Oh, I'm oh, deadly. I'm sharp. It's time for the ult. I don't even know where the bad dudes are. I'm fast. My yeah, the knives! Down. Man, do the abilities ever shake shit up. I still feel that CS gunplay is the core, but the various spells you can throw at somebody definitely add some spice and had me shook the first few rounds. Welcome to my world. Who said that? She took your map away, bro. Can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs> wow. Does this come down? You have to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> Literally one poke with a knife <laughs> brings it down. That's a flashbang, right, Challenger? Yes, sir. Nice. What does my Q do? Oh, Molly. Molly. Oh, that's you, oh, shit. One's coming in from, uh... dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, abilities. I always forget to use my abilities. Buy your skills, you fucking nerd. <laughs> to a tangerine. Whoa, that wall <laughs> hack. What was Alfred. that? I'm not going to pretend that I'm masterful at the abilities of the game, because in reality, I'm a raise spamming piece of shit that should probably be euthanized. In the Valorant community, is like, raise is OP, and the better's like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Yeet! Worst timing, Jello. Best timing, <laughs> Jello. Holy shit. What's that? I can't hear you over the sound of insta locking rays every round. It's about to happen. Oh. No. Oh, I hit it, baby. Look at that <laughs> shot. Damn. Throw a few nades in there. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. All right. Back blast clear. 
Cast that one, Sage! Cast that one! Oh god, spotted. Spot that shit, fuck! But even a shitter like me can see that momentum, especially when it comes to the alt mechanic, is something special and feels oddly similar to being farmed or fed in League. Because you can't just buy your alt, you have to earn your alt by risking death to get orbs in contested locations, planning the spike, or getting kills. You can chain an important play like a headshot into your alt and really swing the odds in your favor. Please no op, please no op, please no op, please no op. That was lucky, but I still got my ult. Yes! Yes! Here it comes, boy! <laughs> when some shit like that happens, it is 100% that feeling of Now this is progress. Just imagine how much a round can change when someone like Sage uses her ult to revive somebody. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I got yeah, fucking got revived? revived? Time to rescue this round. <laughs> oh my god. I'ma keep it a buck. Never revive my dog ass again. So from a gameplay perspective, I find the agents terrific. But from a character perspective, they're awful. I find them plain, uninspiring, and like they've all been ripped from other games. Who's Doomer? Who's who's purple Doomer? Uh, that's Reaper from Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, he teleports. It's literally Reaper from Overwatch. Yeah, that's not even a joke. Ooh, we got a female caustic. Damn, they really do be out here putting British Michael B. Jordan in a video game. How much do I have to pay for him to call me bruv? And that's one of the most common gripes that I hear when someone is pissing on Valorant. That they hate the cartoony art style that's reminiscent of Unreal Engine, where every female is a dummy thick A cup because big titties aren't politically correct, and every dude is chiseled and loafy or a hooded cloak monster. Hey, it's Bully McMahon! I just don't understand the imagery of this aggressively Asian woman <laughs> in this flowy ass, aggressively Asian dress. Aggressive. With a fucking M4 just in the cut, doing the damn thing. What do you mean? Optically, it just doesn't damn. make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. Personally, I don't give a shit because modern games, especially FPS games, all visually look pretty good and the core gameplay loop being fun is the most important part. I don't stop playing games because the art style is a little goofy, but I will stop playing games that aren't fucking fun. Silly graphics. I don't care. Just so you know, Press Delicious, I care about one thing. What's that one thing? Results. Uh, I can't promise those. And, and I, I care, care about, about one thing as well. Uh, chicken, chicken fries from, from Burger King. King. How, How do they have good chicken? chicken fries and shitty chicken nuggets? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't know. I really don't. If anything, the fantastical theme gives Riot a gigantic ceiling for creativity. Most tactical FPS games have to be at least loosely anchored to modern warfare, whereas the Valorant devs can just shove a bunch of wizard lizard magic bullshit in the game like a teleporter. Go telly. What? This is... It brings you to A? What the fuck? On that topic, the desert map was the only good one. The one with three bomb sites needs to be deleted because I can't spawn rush with a shotgun. Dude, this map is fucking terrible. Please end my suffering. Three sites seems a little cringe, ain't they, baby? Not gonna I, I really fuck with <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what, bro? I'm just talking. I'm don't literally say... using the I'm using the English don't lexicon. Don't ever say nene baby to me. Baby, bro. I'm just saying. A big, big, big one that I've gotta hit on is that I had a radically different experience playing solo versus playing in a five stack because when I was alone, I found myself fragging out and was having a blast. Just had a really good game, so I'm sure I'm gonna get fucking shit stomped this one. I can hear one for sure, for sure. Double kill. Oh, you're a god, dude. What do you mean? Dog, I come from Siege. I have like casual babby aiming physics. He's there, he's there, he's there. Sorry. I don't know what you're fucking hey, talking buddy. about, that 3k, baby. All I was saying is, you're fucking, you're goaded. You're cracked, buddy. Whatever the Fortnite kids say, I don't know. Plant the spike, fellas. <laughs> All right, dog. Ask me about my back blast. Yes. Last player standing. One hookah. Hit him. One enemy I guess that's hookah. Fuck it, we ball. We ball. Yes. You're a fucking god, dude. Don't yeah, mess what a with unit. No, once you kind of get, like, where the bullets go, it's much easier. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. Magic laughs> point. Buy CS. It's free to play. I'm fucking retarded. Go into a CS game and just tell people, once you learn where the bullets go, it's really easy. And they'll all fucking murder you. <laughs> Put in a five stack with my buddies that are all avid Counter-Strike players with high win rates. It was a completely different story. Team, I've secured C site. Plan, I want to beat Shroud. Throwing fire. Ooh. He knew he was going to die to Duckling, so he literally just self immolated <laughs> I hope you saw that. Don't uh, smoke. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny! That's so funny! It's like my footsteps are loud. 
enemy remaining. Hey, what'd game. you just do to that poor boy? Oh Dude, my god. There. I don't know, man. <laughs> Not sure if there's skill-based matchmaking or a certain way of pairing teams with multiple party members, but anytime I'm not playing solo, it felt like I was going against the most cracked CS veterans on planet Earth that were basically born controlling AK recoil. Let's do this shit, other Asian lady. Oh my god! That target is actually nice target. Damn, that Miko guy's got some really, really good aiming skill. He's like, spot on. What was the nicest thing I think I've ever heard a streamer say? That's not me being bitter, that's me being impressed by how skilled some of these one-tapping CS veterans are. Once they get an AK- a vandal in their hands, they're deadlier than Ohio. You know that Ohio meme going around of, wait, it's all Ohio? Always has been. That's exactly how I feel about Valorant, dog. It is literally just, wait, it's all Counter-Strike. Always has been. And that's the crux of why I can't see myself playing Valorant religiously. Not saying it's trash, not saying I hate it, just saying that the high skill gun mechanics of recoil control and punishment for shooting while moving is not my cup of tea. She would've peeked the duckling, she would've... Oh, man. One enemy Bro, she was on screen for half a second. He's, He's surgical, Chad. He's surgical. The duckling's left. failing at this point. Die, you fuck. Curse of the badger. <laughs> <laughs> I've been clicking on his head for eight years. What the fuck? I honestly thought you were going to alt tab. Like, you know what? I need a reset. I need to, I need to clear my head. <laughs> this ADS feature is pretty neat, but I still feel like if you're a shitter in Counter Strike, you're going to be a shitter in Valorant. On top of that, it's built from the ground up as a competitive shooter. And I'm a huge fan of stupid, goofy, random bullshit happening, which is obviously kept to a minimum in a game so far focused on esports balance. So hopefully we get some kind of dipshit casual queue for me to fuck around in. Like if I don't have at least one friend AFK and one friend playing Animal Crossing mid round, count me out. I can hear your girlfriend playing Animal Crossing in the background. Yeah, you need to shut that shit up. I don't, I'm not trying to hear about no Animal Crossing right now. <laughs> hey bro, this edible ain't shit. Five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> oh you think Tom Nook supports the death penalty? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Tom Nook hires the Doom Slayer to make sure the dead is repaid. <laughs> If we don't get a limited time mode where we all run around with deagles and box magazines, count me out. I have a plan, uh, Arthur. I just need a Desert Eagle 50 cal with a 40 round box magazine. I'm gonna spawn big these Pinkertons, Arthur. Just you watch. <laughs> and if we don't get a goofy ass map to play on like Mother Base, count me out. The next UFC will take place on Mother Base. That's great. Engravings. Engravings. Give you every tactical advantage. Boss. I can possibly fucking think of. <laughs> Boss, you killed a child. Great work. work. This is why you're the best. Colonel, he turned himself into a pickle. It's the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. Overall, lots of fun. It's going to be free to play and comes out this summer, so I recommend you try it out just to see what exactly you like and don't like. It's just not exactly my jam. I'm sure I'll play more of it, but I'm not going to start mainlining it directly into my veins, unless we got some goofy shit that preferably involves LMGs and shotguns and a 10-man casual rush. I check my corners every time. Yo, I got this. Stay behind me. What did I just say? Founder. Joke's over. You're dead. Founder. Oh, I almost got the last dude. I was so close. And that is about it. Yeah. Thank God it's over. This feels weird now, because I usually call out and thank the sponsor of the video at this point in time, but there's no sponsor on this video, so like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, if you're not in it for the money, then why the fuck are you in it? You could use my Epic Games supporter creator code, which is the Russian Badger, you could sub on Twitch, or you could just tell me to fuck off. That's all, all, all the above. A humble thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video, and be sure to tune in next time when I throw a plasma screen TV into the sun.